What's going on guys? My name is Timothy or Timmy Bug and I'm not even going to go into all the plugs and everything. Today we're doing a movie review and I'm super excited for this. Today we are reviewing Hobbs and Shaw. Now as I told you in the last episode, I wanted to make these episodes a little more compact. Not quite as long of an episode, not quite as many details. But today we are reviewing, I might as well just put it in my hand again, Hobbs and Shaw. Epic movie, I really liked it. I actually saw it in theaters, but it took me forever to write a review on it. So, let's get straight into the movie review, guys. So, as you know, we do a method 1 out of 10 now. Overall for this movie, 7 out of 10. Very good. I liked the movie. There was some stuff they should have left out. That's why I could not rank it any higher than that. But the ideal age, I would say, for watching this movie would be 14 or 15. It's got some stuff that younger kids don't really need to be watching. Um, and let's go ahead and delve straight into it. So, the violence is 6 out of 10. They they bash people pretty good in this movie. Some people get shot, and uh, they bash in the bad guys, like, a ton. But, like, nothing horrible or evil, really, violent in this movie. Language, unfortunately, this one gets on up there. 7 out of 10. Two or three F-words, a lot of blue book cuss words i call them which i don't even really know what that means but basically it's the minor cuss words like a lot of them too many to count so yeah this movie really gets up there on the language and then sexual content is four out of ten they make a lot of middle school boy jokes if you catch my drift um that really can't be ignored and then they also make a couple comments that just should not be in a movie but yeah guys that is all for the Hobbs and Shaw review if you liked it be sure to leave a like maybe consider subscribing if you did like it until the next time guys I'll talk to y'all later goodbye